Makosa Mahle, San Bonani, and welcome. Welcome back to Football Trends with me, OQP. Now, obviously, guys, I'm going to be bringing you some more good news uh, for Ikeza Chiefs, at least today. It's nothing more of uh, bad news, bad news, just like yesterday. But today, at least we have some good news. And you're waking up to some good news from the win. Isolo and seeing young players being introduced to a starting lineup, Ikeza Chiefs. But obviously, guys, before I continue, there's one thing in Kutung and Zeleona is to make sure you like this video and if you are new here in Bogeli, uh please go ahead don't mind click on that subscribe button and also unga kwa uklika ipen notification so that you get notified next time mang posta enya e video okay guys uh so where do i start uh let us just start with uitumelan kune uh, a lot of you guys have been i've uh, been seeing on the comment section people were saying uh we want uitumelan kune back uh we need him to be introduced and you know his suspension and things and things of sort uh if you don't know uitumelan kune was currently suspended uh, from October, I think October, November last year in Joba as of him Sevenzini smelling alcohol and then he got suspended with what which was his punishment um from e management. So there were a lot of views about this whole situation saying good uh some were saying uh, they shouldn't punish uh, a legend like oh because he's a legend is him and then some were saying okay this is wrong because if they don't punish him then none of my players are you know the young ones the likes of Bumfundo Vilagazi, Wandile Duba, the young ones they might not learn anything from him because so if yeah as a captain he's doing that then of course of course now they are going to do that and guys i remember i uh, would just come down coming out to say because a lot of people thought to Kuna was going to get fired and she came out to say no we're not going to fire him uh instead we're just going to make an example out of him so that they can understand would see there are certain things you cannot do at the workplace so definitely they did that and then the process underwent uh, a lot of those processes and stuff and stuff like that but now guys um you will be happy to hear Oguti, uh your captain uh is back from his suspension and guys during his three month absence uh, okune says he fully participated uh, in my programs uh, set out for him and he believes what he, they assisted him with his personal growth and development as a professional athlete as well as uh, as an individual so he says he's looking forward to working hard at training and sharing his knowledge with his teammates in John being uh, a good statement that was written by ekz chiefs so as Kiz Chiefs, we welcome Itumelen Kuna back to the home he was known for over 25 years and we remain committed to our core values of discipline, integrity, respect, and unity. Mushoge Sona is statement. I'm not going to read everything. I'm just giving you this. And then moving on, we do have Owandile Dubam uh, who announced himself on the big stage with a beautiful Kela Bafetu. That was beautiful from me. I think... Um, it was magnificent to watch guys uh three points against golden arrows and now uh obviously we're gonna face orlando pirates a9 which is gonna be saturday and definitely guys uh the young striker will reveal Luti, what is he capable of and what his it what is he good at so this is gonna be a big boost for him and is means are cool confidentially it's gonna bring him a lot of confidence and definitely guys um some some say uh he cited the manchester city superstar phil uh, for i hope you guys know for then uh, as an example john bambuza what uh inspired his wonderful strike keller which is that keller uh, he says they did tell me if i believe in myself i will score because i've been working hard in training and then he also said, did you see Foden in the Manchester day before Man City? Did you see what he did? He got inside and scored. So you can see, guys, definitely Uguti. Uh, he was inspired by the goal Laga Foden. So I'm hoping he will continue to give us a wonderful performance. And as and Jengabu, you know who, I cannot say their names. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping, guys, Uguti, he will continue to provide us with beautiful games. And now, guys, let's talk about Orev Frosler. 
so we haven't seen Ori Frosler in ages guys it's been ages now and we're all wondering what's, what's happening is he injured is he going through something or you know something something but again yeah, uh fear not guys because today because guys kevin johnson revealed to what has been happening with Ori Frosler. but then firstly uh let's take a look at the chiefs the chiefs have proven Uti they were solid uh in defense and they have kept like clean sheets guys in their last five games they've kept clean sheets in fact they considered one goal against isikukune united uh which was shown by television replays to have been offside and guys for me i believe with the back line here to it's, it's stable guys if you take a look at uh, oh bruce Vomai hasn't considered goals it's because of a back line and Kumbule, Kumbule Mbogeli. Our preferred starters were Osfiso Lanti, Edmilson Dove, given Msimango, Norev Frosla. But in recent weeks, we have had Uhepi Mashiani, Uzitakwinika, Njabule Ngobo as uh, the starters. And so far, so far, they still haven't considered calls. So me, I believe with the Ipek line here too. Uh, it's, it's tight, guys. It's, it's tight even though you, you guys don't like some of the players but i think basha and Ispan, they are doing their best to give us something and guys i know you guys probably don't want to hear this but let's talk about ozita Quinica, guys he's been trying guys he's been trying let's just give him a chance and kumbule his um main position is center back but he was playing uh, as a right back for his cut in our three games in a row and yeah, obviously, you know, playing on an unfamiliar uh, position can have its problems. But he's been trying, Umfana. He's been trying, definitely. And Ukumbule Mbogeluguti, he started out the Paglia position. Gupit Vest, uh, Vet, and then Nagustelenbosch FC. And then Wamovela to his center back, Masega Talela A Cape Windlands. And obviously, that's where uh, Chiefs wanted him to play. That's where Chiefs wanted him to play in John Wabam sign. Now, let's get back to Uriv Frosler. This is what the coach Wainu said. There's nothing wrong with Uriv. There's nothing wrong with Dylan. Uzita has been giving me the backup, even though he's a center back. He gives me the backup, and you know, sometimes you have to play with God. And then he continued to say Uriv had a slight knock which is, was not something uh, to take him out, but obviously, as a team, they are taking precautions. So, guys, you know, now we know Uti uh, Uri Frosler. Uh, there's nothing so much bad that is happening with him. Uh, just a slight knock. I don't know if it's a knock on the head or something, but definitely we know it's nothing major. So, he might be back. He might be back. Me, I promise you guys, every time I'm in Jedi Uti, I'm a player, they will be back. He might be back. Uh, on saturday we might see him as we go against the orlando pirates on the derby but anyways guys you've heard for yourselves this is it thank you so much for watching i will see you soon with something new